league all the time. This is all about resilience and it's all about progress. What can you say about what those guys showed you yesterday? They had a big lead early. They let it go in the fourth quarter, but they kept battling, like you said, in the fourth quarter, and they got the job. Yeah, obviously showed a ton of uh, resilience, perseverance. They just kept kept playing hard, even though you know they had they had kind of got all the momentum there uh, late in the third and uh, early in the fourth. Uh, and then you know uh, progress. You know, I felt like uh, offensive line wise, you know, we made we made a ton of progress today. It's just, it's just, you know, they you know they they've been uh, uh, taking a lot of heat. You know, we, we haven't felt like we blocked well up front uh, most weeks, but uh, but this week uh, they, they did the job. They answered the call. And, you know, I thought this was uh, easily the, the best we played up front. Got off to a little slow start, but uh, uh, but you know he just uh, he is uh, he's a competitive guy, and uh, you know he doesn't he doesn't he's not one of those uh, he's kind of a flat line. You know what I mean? He's not one of those uh, high and low. Uh, he just kind of kind of stays even kill and uh, he was able to keep his composure uh, that last drive and not get caught up in all the excitement and uh, you know execute his uh, his assignments. And, uh, so real real happy with how he played. Marquise and Banks, it, it, it's every week, you know, they're just uh, playing fantastic. You know, obviously our, our front four, they were, they were tired. You know, they, I don't know how many, I didn't look at the final statistics yet, but they had to, they had to drop back the pass 55 times, it felt like. Uh, that takes a lot out of you as a D lineman to rush the pass that many times. Uh, but those two just kept bringing it, bringing it. Uh, you know, we weren't, we weren't able to get a lot of pressure, but uh, they drew some holding penalties, they got some hits on the quarterback. Made a big difference. Uh, is Kirkland the primary receiver on that, that winning play, or was that a check down? Uh, we had uh, we had two two route combinations called uh, based on what coverage you were going to get. Uh, the coverage they gave us uh, was Kirkland's side, uh, so he, he was uh, he was the read for the quarterback. How about the screen to Marshawn? Was, was it was like second and thirty or something? Yeah, like that. Uh, yeah we, we were trying to get him the ball. You know, we we knew they were going to be. We're taking some good pass drops to try and keep us from throwing it down the seam, and uh, so we wanted to take a shot uh, with him. Obviously, we know he's a you know he's an explosive guy. Anytime he has his hands on the football, he's got a chance to make something happen. You know, he's shown that to Savannah State fans for the last three years. You know, uh, all the last three years prior to this year, and uh, so we called it, and then uh, you know you end up. Uh, Set, it's, it was set to go down the right sideline, and he cut it back. And uh, you know what I'm really proud of is the receivers on that side. Instead of dogging it, giving it up, thinking that the ball was going to go the other way, they, they were battling. They both both receivers got uh, two good blocks for him, uh, which helped him get another 20, 30 yards, and uh, and set us up with a chance to uh, you know, to get the game winning touchdown. You know, John Barron had the best on the 40 yard field goal, but other than that, he had an heck of a day running the ball. Yeah, I thought he had a great day. You know, obviously. We, 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 went, we would have loved for him to make that field goal, but uh, you know he's, he's doing everything: kicking, punting, place kicking. And uh, so you, you, you miss a you, you miss a field goal by six inches uh, when, you, when you handle all the special teams duties. That, that's a pretty good day still. Yeah, a couple of incredible punts to flip the field position, and uh, uh, did, did a great job. I thought. Uh, uh, one more question, Coach. Uh, you know, you guys uh, had a, a drought for a little bit in the fourth quarter um, until the defense had that stop. Uh, what did you tell the offense to uh, kind of pick them up on the way back out to the field for the one? Yeah, you know, down? we just told them to, you know, just to execute, uh, keep playing hard, and, and uh, good things will happen. You know, obviously we felt like we had enough time, even though we had to use all of our timeouts on defense uh, to stop the clock. We felt like we had enough time, uh, you know, to put a drive together, and, and uh, obviously the the big play to Arshan was uh, was a huge part of that for sure.